on a, a very important topic, which is the cryopreservation of ovarian tissue in young women in order to preserve their fertility. Thus, it's possible, you know, that we have a star that in 1996, because at that time we were impressed by the fact that the young adolescent, for example, 13 years, who had a leukemia and a Hodgkin disease, this a malignant disease, were cured with a chemotherapy. Unfortunately, they were cured, but they have lost the ovarian activity. It means they were in menopause. So that we start to take a part of the ovary before the treatment in, in order to cryobank the tissue and to store the tissue at the temperature at minus 196 year, uh, degree for years and years. And in 2004, we start to re-implant this ovarian tissue. This, for the first case, for example, published in The Lancet in 2004, this woman had a Hodgkin disease at the age of 25 years. Before chemotherapy, we took a part of the ovary, we stored the ovary, and we re-implanted the ovary six years later, when she was cured of the disease. And 11 months after that, she was pregnant. That was the first ongoing pregnancy in the world. And now I was very happy to announce for the first time the second ongoing pregnancy occurring in my department. Totally in the world, there are about 30 cases of reimplantation of ovarian tissue, which has been cryopreserved before chemotherapy. And there are se seven live birds and one ongoing pregnancy, just to describe in my department. So that it's time not to consider this technique as experimental. It's a beautiful hope for all these adolescents, the young girl, we have no possibility to get pregnant after they have been cured from the disease. Now, with the cryopreservation of ovarian tissue, with the reimplantation of this tissue, after the disease has been cured, they have the possibility to be pregnant. That's uh, really beautiful for this woman. I'm working in a university uh, hospital. And when I start 10 years, no, 1996, it's true that this procedure was quite expensive. I will say like AVF, huh? like in vitro fertilization procedures on a biologic point of view. It's about the same money you need to do it. And I discussed with a pediatrician and the oncologist. And I said, I will ask 1,000 euro for the biology because that is the cost. And the pediatrician told me, Professor Donne, if you do that, you will have nobody. Why, I say? Because don't forget, the patients are adolescent. Their parents are 35, 40 years. In the majority of the case, the parents are working. But because of the disease of the, of the girl, the mother is obliged to stop the work. She's obliged to live very close to the hospital, it's quite very expensive. If you ask an extra money to do that, that will be very difficult for them. And then I took the decision to do it free. My department pay for that. We took this decision together. And concerning the laparoscopy and the biopsy, the fact to remove a part of the ovary is paid by the insurance system, health system. The reimplantation is paid by the health system. Just only the biological part, the cryopreservation procedure and towing are paid by my department. But we 
receive in Belgium because the success we have grant from the Federation contre le cancer, huh? Federation uh, against uh, cancer, uh, which pay we give us money and grant to for the research and the application of the research. <laughs>